Hey, what's up guys? It's Jay. I'm Jay. I'm Jay. I'm Jay. I'm Jay. And I'm here today to give you some lighting tips. That massive manhunt for one of the world's most dangerous drug lords. A nearly $4 million reward now being offered for El Chapo. And this morning, we're seeing new video from the moment... Today, I want to show you some concepts that I use to light a scene. Right now, as you can see, this scene is completely overexposed, grainy, and it doesn't look cinematic. This is what happened when you use available light. Don't blame the camera, it's all about the lighting. But I'm gonna show you some techniques that will improve your footage. The first technique is to eliminate the white walls or plain walls, whether it's covering the walls with a lamp or pictures, just try your best to eliminate the white walls. In this scene, I use a lamp, which also sets the mood of the scene and adds detail to the background. Which leads us to number two, when you light a background, you light it to create interest, not to attract attention. You don't want the background to be so lit like it was an overlit scene. The last technique is always put your key light on the opposite side of the camera. If you put the light from the same direction as the camera, your picture will look flat, with no depth, no dimension, and no texture, and not cinematic at all. So this is how I lit this scene. And if you use those three techniques, I'll guarantee you that your footage will be taken to a different level. To summarize, avoid the white walls or the plain walls, light the background to create interest and not to attract attention, and when you're lighting a subject, make sure the light is on the opposite side of the camera. Chapo, and this morning, we're seeing new video from the moment... Thanks for watching my videos. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down here. And if you like what you just seen, uh, feel free to share it. As Ernie says, I'll be back in two weeks. Take it easy, guys. Have a nice one. Bye.